All right, now we want to bring you the latest this noon time in campaign 2014. Less than 24 hours from now, the polls will be open and the candidates are getting out their message to voters as some political posters say that some of these races really could be a toss up tomorrow. I want to see reporter Susan Campbell's working details now from the campaign trail. She's live now with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Danielle, these candidates today are all smiles. They are, of course, full of energy. All of them say they believe they will be Rhode Island's next governor. Exactly. Thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate tomorrow. it. I will, absolutely. With less than 24 hours to go until the polls open, candidates vying for the governor's office are making last minute appeals to voters across the state. Republican Alan Funk kicked off his day at a rally in Cranston with political powerhouse Chris Christie. I love you all. I love this state. Let's do it. Democrat Gina Raimondo started her day in East Providence, where she linked up with Rhode Island senators and general treasurer candidate Seth Magaziner for a meet and greet. This is the first stop among many. A couple more senior centers, some small businesses, manufacturing tour. Messages get out to vote. And though he's trailing in the polls, Bob Healy says he's confident going into tomorrow. We've got an opportunity to do a Cinderella story, show that Rhode Island voters are willing to take back this state. And this morning, I did speak with a lot of voters. Some of them are still undecided, so this last minute push by all of the candidates is a very important move for all of their campaigns. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. And stay with us for continuing coverage of campaign 2014. We'll be watching activity at the polls tomorrow. Of course, the last minute campaigning from the candidates and then stay with us tomorrow night throughout the evening for live election updates on air and online at WPRI.com.